This grammar humor video is going to be about syntax and it's specifically directed towards those viewers who have a curiosity in that area. I'm going to assume that you've watched other recent videos of mine which briefly touch on this and I'm going to briefly touch on it again here. It's going to be a little bit more in depth but by no means is it going to be the whole ball of wax because syntax at least for me is not something that you're going to get in uh, one go through so right here I have a key for all the hieroglyphs I'm going to be using and what they stand for the numbers are going to stand for these values I've taken this headline from the Washington Post Washington Post is the is an adverb Washington adjective post pronoun so that's an adverb adjective pronoun scenario Kavanaugh hearing. Supreme Court nominee won't commit to removing himself from cases directly affecting Trump. They don't have a period. But I guess they don't feel they need periods in headlines. The easiest way that I've found to syntax is to move in reverse, which we will do here. So Trump. Trump is a factual word. And when you syntax, factual words are either verbs adjectives or pronouns depending upon where they are and what comes before them so Trump you can hold a Trump in your hand whatever Trump that would be whether it's a Trump when you're playing cards or it's a president so Trump is a pronoun then we see what comes before Trump from cases directly affecting so we see directly is an adverb because the LY modifies this factual word direct into an adverb, which makes affecting then is an adjective modifying trump. Because adverbs can modify adjectives and adjectives modify pronouns. Cases. Cases is a factual word, yes. You can hold a case in your hand. However, from is not a factual word because you can't hold a from in your hand. So from is an adverb modifying the factual word cases into a verb. What comes before from himself? Well, that's a pronoun. And then we have, we move back to two. Immediately we see that as an adverb. And then removing would then be an adjective modifying himself. Now two is a future tense. So we'll give that a 1.9. Won't commit. Won't is an adverb, which modifies the factual word commit into a verb. Nominee, that's a fact. I'm sorry, that is a factual word. So it's a pronoun, because you can hold a nominee in your hand, if you're strong enough. Which would then make Supreme Court, both of those are adjectives. And then we have a colon, which causes a break in the continuity of the evidence. So this would be syntax separate. Hearing, where well you can hear, so that's a fact. Factual term, which would be a pronoun in syntax scenario. And then Kavanaugh, which is an adjective. Now to go deeper into that, I will add a negative to some of the words that have poison prefixes, to my knowledge, which means no. So the SU would mean no. That's a negative three now. Here's a no in nominee. I'll give that a negative four. Removing RE means no. That's a negative three. And affecting a vowel before a vowel and two consonants at the beginning of a word. That is a negative three. And so that's a brief look at syntax. If you have any questions about syntax, or if you'd like to learn how to give your own correct language performance, feel free to contact me in the private and the confidential at the email address listed in the description below this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.